Hi, Hi everyone. everyone. I'm Celeste LeBlanc, Director of Employee Health and WorkWise. I'm Laquita Howard, System Infection Preventionist. Today we're discussing flu prevention and our guest is Dr. Mel Meyer, one of the best ER physicians around. We're excited to chat with you today about influenza or com more commonly known as the flu. Okay, absolutely. Every year, flu creates a large infectious disease worldwide. Can you tell us how big an impact this has on us here in the U.S.? In the U.S., approximately 52,000 deaths annually from influenza and up to 710,000 hospitalizations annually. The people that are most affected are those with comorbidities, um, such as diabetes or longstanding medical illness or immunosuppression. Wow, that affects a ton of people. What are your recommendations on reducing the risk of flu each year? The main thing is make sure you get your vaccination. The vaccination is the first step in preventing influenza. The second thing is do like your mama told you, wash your hands. After you touch something, make sure you wash your hands uh, all the time. Make sure you cover your mouth, wear a mask, something to decrease the aerosolization or spread of it. And number three, if you're sick, stay home. Yeah, thank you for reminding us about those easy actions we can take to help prevent the spread of influenza. Absolutely. Something else that I would love to talk about that comes up every year is flu myths or misconceptions. So one of the big things I hear quite often is I get sick right after I get the flu vaccine and I think it gave me the flu. Can the flu vaccine really give you the flu? No, actually the flu vaccine is a dead virus or a protein from the virus's shell which cannot give you um, active infection. So that is, that's, that's a myth, incorrect. I've also heard people saying, I have a healthy immune system and I never get the flu, so I don't need it. What do you say to those people? So even though your immune system may be healthy and you might not have significant signs or symptoms of influenza, by getting the influenza vaccination, you decrease the spread of influenza. So I think it is important that everybody uh, that can get the influenza vaccination. Um, if if you have family members at home or you work in the healthcare industry where you're around people and can spread the illness, then your best way of preventing the spread of that, again, number one is getting the vaccination. Thanks so much for sharing that information with us. So don't forget, get your vaccine like Dr. Meyer has told us. Thanks so much and we'll see you again soon.